welcome, hey. welcome to uh, episode number one of Ramona the Airstream on the One TV. So um, for this first episode, we're just going to take a little bit of time to introduce ourselves and let you know a little bit about what we're doing here. So I'm Delmara. I am Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Live feels funny, so uh, don't mind her getting used to it. But this is Ramona, our Airstream, and we have all kinds of great plans and adventures and things in store, and we're so excited to um, be here on The One TV with a way of sharing all of that with all of you so that you can follow along um, on our adventure. Yeah, what did our, uh, what did our description on our show say? Let's preface what this show's about here. Yeah, so we're gonna be, renovating. we'll talk about it more as we go inside the Airstream, but we're gonna be renovating the Airstream. So this is a, um, 19, what, is, what is our Airstream? 1973. Yeah, uh, land yacht. Land yacht. Airstream. So we've got a trade 1973 wind, trade wind. trailer, which is very 1973 and hasn't really had a lot of tender love and care since 1973 so we're gonna be renovating it um, and then bringing you along on all the things we do with it but um, as you can see we're in Colorado and we're standing in the ice and the snow and it's kind of cold so we're actually gonna go inside Ramona and we'll talk to you a little bit more in there and give you an official before tour of our trailer before we start work today to tear it all up and um, work into the process of getting to the after so should be interesting we've never done this before oh yeah we don't know what we're doing no idea. no idea no idea all right let's go inside <laughs> right, you go first i'm gonna start this up. this took about two hours to figure out how these steps come out <laughs> properly Thanks i'm not sure if we can see the step yeah little things like how does the step turn out is um you know it's all an adventure Sorry, pardon our transition here into getting inside and getting set up. Give a second. All right. All right, we're in. Why are you pushing all the buttons? Sit up. Trying to see what works. <gasps> it did work. Oh man, Apparently hold don't on. Know more. Hold on, bear with us figuring out lighting. Here. That's super bright. Okay, so we just want to talk a little bit about how this came to be, how we ended up sitting in this crazy thing in our trailer. This light is so bad. Me? It's me? Here, talk while I figure out how to make the light bad. Um, yeah, so basically I have a, um, is that better? a wife that, um, you know, has ideas and things she wants to do. And I'm the kind of person who, like, I got to think through all the things. Wow, that light got even worse, honey. No, it's better. I got to think through all the things, cross all the T's, dot all the I's. And, um, oh, no, that's not the way she rolls. Yeah, so we don't do that. it's some pretty interesting yin and yang balance <laughs> we bring here. But, uh, yeah, how, how, did, how did we get so here? So I have always wanted this crazy thing sitting in my driveway. Um, I was th I've been thinking about for the show, like, where did this start? And it came to me, I remembered that I was, hey, Dad. like, late <laughs> 90s, um, I watched this movie, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, right? Great 90s movie, if you haven't seen it, it's Johnny Depp and Leonardo DiCaprio, and when I was, like, 12, I had this huge thing for, like, Leonardo DiCaprio, he got his posters all over my room, so we had to watch all of his movies, so I remember, oh, you know this. We still love him. He tries to save the world. Anyway, um, it's true. so we had to watch all of his movies, which included What's Eating Gilbert Grape. And in this movie, it starts with, like, they're sitting on the side of the road, and this whole, like, fleet of Airstreams come down the street. And I won't give it away in case you haven't seen the movie, but basically, like, Johnny Depp Gilbert has this kind of, like, struggling life, and it's the Airstreams that, like give him hope and take him away and he like goes away in the airstream but anyway i remember watching that movie and being like those trailers are so cool and like once i decided they were cool then like everyone i ever passed or saw in somebody's yard or farm or whatever off the side of the highway i was like oh look it's an airstream and um 
I feel like ever since, you know, we were like 20 or something, like we've been making like vision boards, you know, you get like the magazines and you cut out all the things and you paste your pictures of the things that you want in your life to like attract and manifest them to you. And my vision board usually looks different than the average person. Like typically you'll have like these beautiful homes and nice houses and fancy cars. Mine doesn't, mine doesn't have all of that. My American dream. Yeah, I don't know. I never had no fancy house on my my vision board, but I did always have patchouli and granola, an airstream, or a vanilla. Uh, van- <laughs> <He's like, "Vanol- laughs> you must be up. A Volkswagen, an airstream, or a Volkswagen, or something in the middle of the forest somewhere beautiful. And I've always had these like goals and dreams of not necessarily like owning a bunch of stuff, but just living life, right? Like going out in the world and exploring and adventuring and like being part of adventure and exploration and those are all the things that I want to do and so when I would see an Airstream to me that's like your vehicle to go do those kinds of things so I always wanted one and then it go from a vision board to being in our driveway what do you tell about that um yeah so um we, you know, I love her, so of course, you know, I want to support the things that she wants to do. Um, don't make it sound like you don't love her, Mona. Oh no, totally. I mean, <laughs> for sure. I, uh, I, I'm not all about the, you know, be stuck in an office all all the days of your life. Um, I love to pursue the things that that are, you know, near and dear to our heart, whatever that looks like. But um, the big part of that is just you know, being free, living on your own terms and, uh, want to see the, see the places, you know, travel is definitely something that's on, on my list and, um, and just not being buckled down, you know, launching on your own businesses and whatever that looks like, um, you know, being a, a better force in the world. So anyway, side tangent there, but that's very long term though. So when he says like that, like that's like long term goal, we would love to like oh, yeah. live in this thing, drive around. Like That'd be cool. we're nowhere near there yet. So I think where we the in between all here and all that is we as a family we have three kids. We've got this big crazy hundred pound dog, and we told them all to come out in a little while. So hopefully you'll get to to meet them okay. if they choose to come out. Um, but we love to camp. We love to camp. We love to explore. We're a homeschooling mm. family, and when we there's this term. Um, called road school and if you're a schooler you might know that and if not maybe not but basically what it means is like you're learning by going and doing so when we go and we travel and we take a trip like that is a whole unit study for our children and that's like how we learn and what we do so we love just going out like I would rather teach my kid like the science of you know I don't know the process of how a tree grows by looking at all the trees in the forest and their different stages than out of a textbook world like that's a platform for learning and so anyway we love we love to camp like all the summer we're out all the time and we've always tent camped we've always like packed up the car and like if any of you have young kids and a family like man that is hard work like it is so much work like I like to think that we're simple and minimal but the amount of stuff that you have to like pack up and prepare just to like be out in the woods for two days like it's wild like it's so much stuff so yeah i I prefer sleeping in the tent under the stars I always by have. yourself yeah by myself you know and even creeping in a little bit to, to the family just because i want to give my kids that same experience but yeah there's been uh you know we like to think that we're efficient and that we start no. start start you know the day early get on the road no, early we never still, happens no, we're oh no we're always pulling yeah. to you know trying to find a campsite at like dark. nine o'clock in the dark, in the dark. and fun. then yeah you know when you're building you're building out the family size tent that we got that thing takes like an hour people and a are half. Bidding, being bit by mosquitoes and they're oh, crying crazy. and get the fire started everybody's hungry and we have it's just like it's stupid it's we love it but it's so much it's so much work so we i think this started too where we have we have these friends and a couple years ago they came to visit us in this like Shout out uh, to Nate and Rochelle. We love you guys. Yeah, they're very great. Um, <laughs> so they came to stay with us, and they pulled up in this, like, 
adorable vintage 1960 something trailer her name is big red she's fabulous and they parked this thing in our driveway and it was this joke that they're like you know cousin eddie the griswolds like coming to stay with us and live in our driveway for a couple weekends or for a weekend but um like just after that we were like man that looks so easy like look all their camping all their food all their things they cook with all their clothes like they literally just hitched it to their truck and left like it would have taken us five hours to break down all of our stuff and wrap up all the sleeping bags and oh, so yeah. anyway after that experience like every time we were, went camping like we had this new realization of like man this is hard work like this is this is terrible we need a trailer we need a trailer is what we need so um like so many things like you just want something but you don't necessarily go through the steps of making it happen and last year in the spring um we just had some stuff we sold a property that we had and we ended up with just a little bit of money enough to be like maybe we should get that you know camper like not a lot but enough and um so we started looking at just little campers like maybe a pop-up camper maybe something and you know the way that i do things i don't know why you said pop-up camper you were not looking at pop-up we were campers. looking at little campers for a minute and then to another and I was looking at inexpensive little campers. I was. I was. Tr I, I tried for Airstream 45 seconds. Yeah. But while I was looking for those 45 seconds for a little trailer, um, I started seeing Airstreams. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, well, for just, you know, a little bit more, then we could get the thing that we always wanted that's always been on my dream board. And, you know, Tom, you're so handy. So then we can yeah, so fix this. This, this, was like, and... this was like Tuesday. Right, this was on a Tuesday, um, if that, maybe even Wednesday, you started finding these, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I come back home from work the next day, and then what happened? And then I said, honey, I found one, it's only 400 miles away, and look how good of a deal it is, and I've been looking, and it's such a better deal than all the other ones, so um, we need to go to Wyoming tomorrow, okay? It's fine, It'll, it's just, you know, it's just only two or three times more than we wanted to spend, and um, we can fix it up, and we can do this, and we can rent it out, and then eventually we could have a property, and it could be an Airbnb, and we can, and we can, and we can, and don't worry, honey, it'll be it'll be great. So I yeah. talked to the guy, and we so, need to go to Wyoming so, tomorrow. Yeah, so remember how I said, like, I'm the guy who, like, I gotta cross all the T's, dot all the I's, like, do all the research. I went into full freak out mode. You know, I'm like, holy cow, there's no way. Like, you just, Tuesday had the idea. Here it is, Wednesday afternoon, I get back from work, and she's like, here's three different ones that we can look at, but I don't know about this one. This one's kind of a little weird, but we can go check it out if you want. But this one here that's, I think it was 500 miles away. I don't remember. Where was that in Wyoming? Um, basically South Dakota. So, Wyoming, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the northeast corner. Like Mount Rush, but like right um, Mount Rush. Coal Town, Wyoming. Uh, yeah, not even like, okay, so that's like in a day or two days from now. And I've got this truck that is like basically falling apart. You know, I bought this thing and had to put so much money into repairing this stupid thing. I don't even know if it's safe to drive. So I'm like, okay, I guess we just figure it out, right? And it always ends up working like I love her for that push and then I, I actually work pretty well under pressure in that like 11th hour procrastination time so I feel like this is going to come up multiple times throughout the episodes so here's one thing you got to know about me and t me and Tom it's Tom like you said dot the i's and cross the t's like whatever it is that we're going to come across he's going to be like well um uh, well what if this or what if that or what if we do it like this and I got to research all the things and I got to see if it's like this and then I say we'll be fine we'll be fine it's gonna be fine it's, freaks me out. It's fine. And yeah. then he freaks out, and then it's fine. Yeah. So it's then I'm like, freaks. okay, so hold, hold on. Like, this is a big trailer. I've got a, you know, a 1500 Dodge Ram that's like an older truck, and uh, the catalytic converters are going out. It's got like half the power. It's fine. I don't even think I got the right tow hookup, and I didn't. I didn't have the right tow hookup. Um, so I'm like, I'm running AutoZone. I'm like, okay, I need to get the right pin set up, the hookup. I got to get my catalytic converters down. I called a buddy. Fortunately enough, he was able to like work on it the next day and get a couple of those things done. And yeah, uh, it's tow lights. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It was fine. <laughs> it, it ended up fine. So we got it good enough. You know, it was safe enough. 
uh, to pull this thing. And uh, fortunately, in hindsight, there were no hills or mountains because... That's another story. Save that yeah, story another for another story day. down another the story. road. So we truck got it. blew up on the side of the we mountain. We got it. No, we'll save the truck blowing up on the side of a mountain for another another day. Yeah. Comes on the um, so... Three days later. Whatever. We pull up to in the three, In three days, we went from tent camping sucks to... Um, here we go. We got this big 25-foot thing. And then once you have your vehicle to your dreams, then you better start, like, thinking about what those things are. So, um, you know, there's just been a lot of talk in this last year of, like, well, okay, so now what? Like, now what do we want to do with it? And we have so many ideas, and honestly, the outcome isn't even totally finalized yet. But, I mean, we've talked about things like finishing it and being able to as, like, a business where people can rent it and take it on trips, like, using it for our own trips and travels and road schooling, like eventually house now is not a forever home. So eventually we have land and like, there's all these people who do businesses where they like park these adorable like on their property and people come and stay in them and you can like Airbnb it and we can travel. And like the possibilities are endless now that we have this thing. So now all of our time and our attention is going to go into, um, it. Like, I don't know if you followed along or not, but it's kind of like this whole thing, this whole movement. Take these old trailers and like redo them and turn them into like this tiny living type um, environment and see the world. So that's what we're going to do. But there's, um, there's a lot between that and now. So we want to show you Ramona as she is. And um, actually, I really love all of the, the vintage 1973 of this trailer um I love these yellow mustardy countertops they're my favorite color they're so good um I would leave some of it if I could but the reality is that most of it doesn't work like right now this trailer is basically a glorified uh tent like some of the comforts that we would love to come with it like plumbing and water running and um being able to cook and use all the appliance like they don't work like none of this stuff works like we did use a stove for a little while also another story another Let's story we, we've, almost blew we've up got a couple of adventures that we've done so far and we're um so anyway i love all of its original form but most of it's broken most of it doesn't work so what we're going to be doing over this next year or so on this journey you're going to come with us to start um is we got to refinish this thing so we are going to taking it basically down to the shell. Like we're going to be taking out all of the interior, all the walls. We're going to be taking off all the paneling and redoing all of like the insulation and the wiring and the gas and the propane and the plumbing and the tanks and all this stuff. And we, we, we don't know what we're doing. We have no idea. Thank God for YouTube. YouTube is amazing. Tom. And, has, a, and a handy heritage. Yeah. Tom, my husband here is and that he has the ability to like have no idea what he's doing and then like do it and it's amazing and thank you to the Bueller does. family for those genes <laughs> yeah he's got <laughs> genetics in his family that like uncle tom yeah he just, Opa, make, he just take a power drill and watch a youtube Rob, video and like it's great names. so i'm certain though like all things that we do we have these really great it'll be simple and it'll be easy intentions and then we come up with like 25 things that we didn't anticipate so it's going to be an adventure to get this thing refinished but we're going to do it and it's going to be fine 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 it's going to be totally it's fine gonna be great. Yeah. um but we're going to be taking her totally down to her shell redoing all the things we're going to be um redesigning it to fit family it is a very small space and there's um, five of us, six of you cut dog, which I think it counts cause he's huge. Like and, um, we all got to fit. So we got to have a place to eat and to sleep comfortably, a place to shower, a place, a place to live, a place to be able to do life in this tiny little space with, um, all of our, all of our people. So it's going to be, it's going to be some work, but we would love to show you what we're what we're starting out with before we redesign it. And um, I think our family will probably be in in a couple minutes. So let's see, let's see what we can show you. The light is rough in here, so bear with me. Oh, the thing that says the video stopped broadcasting, but it still says it's live. So we're gonna 
Oh, we're gonna try. I don't know. Um, rotate your phone. Sorry. Oh. Uh oh. Hold on. The family's coming. I was gonna show you. We can have you meet the family first. Hey. Are we still on live? I saw a thing that said it stopped. If anybody can still hear me, give me a thumbs up or a heart or a comment or a something. I think we're still recording. Hi, bud. So this is our family. Let's close this because the light is bad. Our family being here means we're running low on time. So we'll meet them and then we'll give you our official four. So oh, that light is just so bad. It's so bright. Um, hi, Kristen family. Then you can't see me. All right. Hi. Hi. Uh, what's your name? No P. Noah. <laughs> what about you? No E. You're Elijah. Mm -mm. It's Elijah. He's our wild one. Noah's probably going to help with some of the construction because he's quite the engineer thinking of how things work and fit and function. What about you? What's your name? Juliet. Juliet. All right. Lock. I'm trying to make the light. Juliet. Sorry. Juliet. I'm trying to make the light not terrible. So, Juliet is a incredible designer, fashion person, all the things. So she's probably going to help make this space beautiful. She's going to help make this space beautiful. To to she's help make this space beautiful. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Elijah, we didn't give you a description, but he's it's making me crazy. And how that looks different for so many different mm -hmm. people and how we can have all these goals, um, which are good, you know, which are really good about being Cold. responsible in certain ways, like, um, you know, just certain savings and insurances and like investments and different things that you can do to be responsible and different ways that you can spend your finances and your time to do responsible things with your Okay. All right. I think it's better. Okay. Um, so I was saying that there's the way that most of the world looks at responsibility and usually it comes down to careers and finances and those things are, are super important and we have career and finance goals and ambitions too. But I think bigger than all that, I feel like I have a responsibility to my children and I have a responsibility to teach them to do and go after what's important to them, whatever that looks like. And I have a very, very short time in the grand scheme of life that my children are young and that they're children. And I have a responsibility to make sure that they have a fulfilled childhood full of life and memories and abundant love with their family. And that can look different for a lot of people, but for me, it looks like pursuing going out, pursuing your the, heart's desires. Yeah, pursuing right? your heart's desires and building family time and memories and stuff that's going to stick with them in their mind and their heart for for all of their life. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's my number one responsibility in this season of life I think, is... Yeah, I think another way... Of, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sure. um, no, you're good. Another way of looking at it is, you know, how, how do you live rich? Right? I think a lot of people's definition of being rich is um, lots of money or cars or fancy things or the, the perfect career or whatever, right? And there's, but you know, you can also just live rich in love and all the things that you um, are on your heart that you were called to do, that you were created for. And by going after those things, pursuing those things, living those things, I think that that life is even more rich and more sweet. So definitely something we've been learning more hey, in years. Oh, wait, so here we are. So, the Kristen family and Ramona doing right, just the thing. So this thing yeah, I'm going to show you a thing because I know we're close yeah, to out of, out of time. time. Out of time. Right. Thanks for go. coming, guys. You can go. Bye. 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 Oh, I got to stay sideways. Bye. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Bye. Bye.
Sorry, we're gonna work out technical difficulties of lighting in this thing. Um, oh my god, it's so cold out there. It's a little cold, Colorado. And bring shoes. Okay, so we'll start on this end. Love you. And this currently is our bed where Tom and I sleep, and it pulls out into a bed. Um, I don't think you need to pull it out. No. It's going to be a dining room table that will convert into a bed, but for now, it's a bed. Yeah, we're thinking like a little wraparound kind of thing. So you got a big giant bench, because right now it's, it's kind of hard to fit everybody, especially if you have a couple guests over. And in the middle will be kind of this pop-up table. So then you push it down, mattress goes on top. Um, and then when you're ready to eat, you pop it that puppy up and you got this nice little round table around it. So, mm -hmm. so we have over you know here is kind of like, oh, the lights, man, we got to figure this out. This is our kitchen area. I think what we'll do, you know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to post before pictures because this is not, this is not happening. Oh, yeah. It's not happening. You can't see anything. It looks bad. And we're up for time. So I'm going to take some pictures of before for Ramona to officially document yep. her before. Right. And I will post those for you so you can see them because... Going around a couple things not... here. Yeah, we you got... can look around a little bit. There you go. Net. Old fridge. Old, like, that plastic don't, that don't work. paneling and things that oh, don't yeah. work. And... Little food pantry cabinets that'll be getting redone. Panels up there. Lots of yellow plastic, storage. lots of broken things, lots of oh, um, yeah. stuff that doesn't function, part doesn't of, work. Part of one of those stories down in here, that, that gas line uh, busted open and was leaking, and we almost blew this puppy up on a What's Jackson like, trip. An adventure? Ooh, that was fun. Not really. There's the stove. Probably get that bad boy redone. Come over here. We got some little side storage, some overhead compartments. It's all going to get ripped out. Starting this afternoon, we start demolition. So the next time we come live, this trailer is going to look very, very different. Yeah. We're going to spend the afternoon uh, this whole, opening uh, her another up. Another couch over here, up. which fold, pulls out as a bed. So that's actually going to get um, redone. And we're going to be putting some bunk beds in here. So that way two kids can go down below. And then one up top. And then these will have to go away so that... Um, Juliet's not smacking her head on that. Um, Got some closets over here. Bathroom's disgusting. Yeah. It doesn't work. <clears throat> Haven't used it. Shower area over there. Yeah, it's pretty dirty back here. This has all been not working, so we haven't really spent much time or effort here. Toilet. Um, that doesn't work. I mean, it kind of does, but the black tank's got a crack in it. Uh, another compartment over there. So anyway, okay, shout out, shout out to uh, Nathaniel, by the way, who didn't realize the toilet was not working last time we were camping and he, <laughs> he peed in there. <laughs> so who knows where that went? I don't know, but oh, buddy. all right. Well, I don't know. What okay. else? No, that's all we're over time. So um, we'll post some pictures for you and then we are going to get off of this video so that we can get to work on ripping her up so i'm excited to show you the progress we've made next time we come live our show is going to be the second and fourth saturday of every month um nine pacific time so 10 here in colorado or you know wherever you are in whatever time zone and um we're just excited to show you our process it's gonna be it's gonna be an adventure so thanks for coming Should along be interesting definitely be an adventure and according to her it'll be it's fine. gonna be fine it'll, it'll be, be fine, fine. everything's yeah. fine